Welcome back Future Medicos. Couple of days ago, I posted a video on the fee structure for KMC Manipal. In that video, I have discussed about the fee structure, the seat matrix, and then the cutoff marks for both general category and NRI category. In this video, we are going to look at another college from the Manipal group, which is called KMC Mangalore. So yes, we are going to talk about Kasturiba Medical College, KMC, which is located at Mangalore. And once again, this medical college is affiliated to the Manipal Academy of Higher Education, which is a deemed to be university. In this video, once again, we will be covering the seat matrix. We will be looking at the fee structure for various category of seats. That is the fee structure for general category, the fee structure for NRI category. And also we will look at the fee structure for Karnataka state quota. Similarly, we will be looking at the cutoff marks for general category, NRI category and Karnataka state quota. So disclaimer, all the information that I'm going to show you in this video are collected either from the college website or MCC website or KEA website. So these are the three major websites from where I have collected the information. I strongly suggest you to use these details only for your advanced planning. And any final decision should be taken only after checking the official websites because this information may be revised by the college or the authorities at a later stage. So I strongly recommend you to look at this only for your advanced planning. Moving on, the first information I want to share is the seat matrix. Once again, this medical college has 250 seats, but unlike KMC Manipal, where KMC Manipal does not have a Karnataka state quota seat, this particular medical college shares 52 seats to Karnataka, that is KEA, Karnataka Examinations Authority. And for these 52 seats under Karnataka state quota, only Karnataka students are eligible. So you should be either the resident or domicile or native of Karnataka to claim any of these 52 seats. Whereas if you are not from Karnataka, if you are from other state, then you can target the All India seats. So All India seats, both Karnataka students and non-Karnataka students are eligible. Under All India general category, we have 161 seats. This may vary. Sometimes it could be 161. Sometimes it could be 162. It may vary or even 160. And then the All India NRI category is 37 seats. So overall, we have 250 seats. And if you are interested in joining any of these category of seats in this medical college, then let's see where you should register. If you are interested in the Karnataka state quota, and if you belong to Karnataka, other state students cannot claim this seat. If you are from Karnataka, then you can register with KEA, Karnataka Examinations Authority, and you may be able to get a seat under this college. Once again, there will be reservations applicable as per the Karnataka state reservation. When it comes to the All India General Category or All India NRI Category, you need to register with Medical Counseling Committee or MCC after NEET results. Generally, MCC opens registration after NEET results. Of course, when it comes to All India General Category, there is no reservation applicable. In Karnataka State Quota, yes, there will be reservation. But when it comes to the General Category, there is no reservation. Everyone is equal. There is no difference between different categories of students. So either it is general category or NRI category. Now, what is the fee structure for All India general category? Now, this fee structure is exactly same as KMC Manipal. There is no difference. So you'll be paying 19.47 lakhs into four installments plus 10,000 rupees as a caution deposit at the time of admission. So that adds up to 77 lakh and 98,000. So which is again a 10 percentage increase from last year. Compared to last year, last year it was around 70 lakhs. Now they have increased the fees to 78 lakhs. Now that is the college tuition fees or college fees, other fees and tuition fees. Now the hostel fees, hostel and mess for the general category students. You have two options. Either you can take double room AC attached bath or you can take double room non-AC attached bath. So if you take double room AC attached bath, the annual hostel fees is 56,000 rupees. Hostel deposit is 15,000. Utility, that is electricity, 
or other kind of utilities, it will be 44,000 per year. Mess will be 46,000 per year. So totally at the time of admission, you will be paying about 1.61 lakhs if you take double room AC. If you go for non-AC, you can save about 30,000 rupees. So you can choose either AC or non-AC. The choice is yours. But please remember this information, the hostel fees and mess fees is based on 2023 prospectus. I don't have the details for 2024. So keep that in mind. So this number could slightly fluctuate. It may go up or it may remain the same. I'm not sure. Maybe like keep in mind, it may go up to like 1.75 lakhs or 1.5 lakhs. It is possible. But roughly, I think the number should be useful for your planning. So what is the total cost for studying in this college under general category? The college fees is about 78 lakhs. Then the hostel and mess fees is about 1.6 lakhs into let's say about five years. So maybe like you may be spending about 8 lakhs. So 78 plus 8 lakhs is about 86 lakhs will be the total cost. And adding your personal expenses so you can budget around somewhere close to about 85 to 90 lakhs should be your budget to study here. That is for general category. Let's say about 90 lakhs to complete MBBS in KMC Mangalore. Now let's look at what is the fees for NRI category. Now this is slightly more attractive compared to KMC Manipal. KMC Manipal and KMC Mangalore, there is a difference of approximately about 50,000 US dollars. So you are paying only three-fourth of the fees you will be paying to KMC Manipal. So in case if you are rigid, if you want only KMC Manipal, then you can pay the higher fees, about 200,000 US dollars and take it. But if you want a college under Manipal group and you want slightly cheaper option, then go for KMC Mangalore. Quality-wise, both are good colleges, right? I cannot say that this is a bad college or anything. This is a good college. Of course, there are advantages for Manipal. There are advantages for Mangalore. So look at which one do you like. Maybe you can visit the college and take a call. But if you go to KMC Mangalore, you are going to save a substantial amount. Maybe like close to about 40 lakhs, you may be able to save it. Now let's look at what is the fee structure. The fee structure is $36,900 into four installments. $36,900 into four installments plus $200 caution deposit at the beginning when you are joining the college. So that adds up to $1,47,800 US dollars to complete MBBS at KMC Mangalore. And if you convert this to Indian rupees, I just um, entered the number into Google and Google said, Today's currency conversion is about 82.93 rupees per US dollar. And so that works out to the total cost is about 1.23 crores. That's a reasonable fees compared to a lot of deemed universities NRI category. For NRI category, in many deemed universities, the cost will be very high. For example, uh, take Sri Ramachandra Porur. I think it charges around 260,000 US dollars. So comparatively, I think is a reasonable cost. So if you come under NRI category and you have a low score, but you want a good college at a reasonable fees, I think KMC Mangalore is a good choice. So the college fees is about 1.23 crores. And then hostel and mess fees for NRI category. Once again, here you have a choice of double room AC attached bath or double room non-AC attached bath. And in case if, if you go for the AC option, you need to pay 2,220 US dollars per year. And maybe this $200 may be only in the first year, probably from the second year onwards. Maybe it's maybe around $2,000. But there is also a possibility the hostel and mess fees may be increased in the coming years. So just keep $2,220 as your calculation and then estimate your budget. But if you go for a non-AC option, probably you may be spending about 1840 US dollars, roughly about $300 less than the AC room. So if you take both the college fees, hostel and mess fees, probably we are looking about roughly around 1.35 crores to complete course in this medical college. So that's a reasonable fees, I would say, right? General category, 90 lakhs for uh, NRA category, it is about 1.35 crores. In most of the colleges, it would be double. Even if you look at KMZ Manipal, it is double. Now, moving on for Karnataka state quota, I don't have much details, but 
from what is published in KEA website, it is about 1.45 lakhs per year last year. So it's a government quota seat. That's why the fees is quite less compared to all India category. So that's why these seats are available only for Karnataka students. This fees is applicable only for Karnataka students. Other state students don't look at these fees. So if you are a Karnataka student, you can roughly look at somewhere around 1.5 lakhs per year. I don't know exactly what are the other costs. Of course, you need to pay hostel and mess. But whether there are any other charges by the college, I'm not sure. Maybe like keep around 2 lakhs per year as maybe the number that would be better. Now let's look at the cutoff marks for general category. What is the cutoff marks for general category in 2023? You can see that the first round All India rank was 72,000. Round 2, it went up to 67,000. And round 3, it closed at a very high cutoff of 30,000 All India rank. And in stay round, there were no vacancies. And in terms of need score, it was 540 in round 1. Round 2, it went up to 545. And round 3, it went up to 597. So once again, my old saying, I keep on saying this. If you are interested in a deemed university, if you are interested in a good deemed university, try to go in in the round 1. Round 1, you have a better chance. Round 2, round 3, there is every possibility the cutoff may increase in deemed universities. Now that is 2023 cutoff. Now let us also compare what was the cutoff in 2021-22 so you get some better idea. Now if you look at 2021, the first round cutoff was All India rank 53,000. In, in uh, 2022, it was 62,000. Once again, the trend is very similar to what we have seen in KMC Manipal. You can see that the cutoff is dropping every year. So it's almost like 2021 to 22, there was a 9,000 ranks drop. And from 2022 to 23, there is a 10,000 ranks drop. So in the last two years, it's almost dropped by 20,000 All India ranks. Whether it will drop further, I'm not sure. I cannot guarantee that whether it will drop. But why it has dropped in the last three years, that probably may, may be due to more and more government medical colleges opening up. That could be the reason. Now, once again, um, don't look at the stray round to plan for your college joining because you need a lot of luck to get a seat in the stray round. And so don't look at like, oh, I have one lakh rank and I'm going to wait until stray round. You may wait until stay round and then you may not even get a seat. For example, it happened in 2021, but 22, 23, there were no vacancies. So if you are going to wait until the last minute, you are going to take a big, big risk. So I would recommend try to get a college in round one, try to upgrade in round two, try to upgrade in round three. That would be a better option. Now let us look at also the cutoff marks. Um, I strongly recommend again, don't look at the neat marks because it could fluctuate every year. But roughly you could see that 530 plus could be a target uh, to join this college. 530, 540. That's the number mostly you could see, right? 540, 530, 540, 529, 535. So it is in that range. Somewhere between 530 to 550 seems to be a safe score. Now moving on for NRI category. Last year, 2023, it was around 5,60,000. And in round 2 and round 3, it was about 6,40,000. It's a reasonably low cutoff. And in terms of neat marks last year, it was 246 and 220 marks. So if you are in the 250 range, probably you should be able to aim for this college under NRI category. Now I want you to look at 2021 and 22. You would see a big variation every year. In 2021, the cutoff was 8,34,000, almost like just pass. 2022, it suddenly has increased from almost like 8,35,000 to 3 lakh, which is like a 5 lakh jump in a single year. And then again in 2023, you could see that it has slightly gone up to 5,50,000. Now, why this fluctuation is happening? Now, let's also look at in terms of neat marks. In 2021, as I told you, it's just pass mark. About 121, 124 is almost like pass mark. But in 2022, it has gone up to around 300 marks. And in 2023, it has dropped. Now, why this huge variation in KMC Mangalore? We also saw some variation in Manipal, but it was not so much variation. But here you could see it was a very low cutoff. Then it has gone up very high. And then again, it has dropped. Is there a reason? Of course, we don't know exactly what's the reason. 
we could only speculate we could only do some analysis and find out and my analysis indicated this in 2021 if you look at the fee structure of kmc manipal and kmc mangalore for nra category it was 230000 us dollars how much 230000 us dollars now what it is it is around 148000 us dollars so it's almost a very high fees 230000 us dollars in today's currency exchange rate is about 1.9 crores so since the fees was very high probably the cut off remained very low i believe that should be the reason now why in 2022 it dropped so much it's because they have reduced the fees in 2022 from a fee structure of 230000 us dollars they have reduced the fees by nearly 82000 us dollars from 230000 it dropped to 147000 which is a drop of 82000 us dollars and if you convert into indian currency it is about 68 lakhs cheaper or maybe like, like let's say round it off 70 lakhs cheaper oh, i'm sure right it is very very attractive that's why kmc mangalore became attractive because from 2021 they dropped the fees drastically that is one reason the second reason is the oci issue as i told you earlier ocis had no option than to go only under the nra category in 2022 of course they had the option in 2021 to select general category and also in 2023 they had the option to select general category but unfortunately the 2022 batch they didn't have an option to select general category so they have to go under nra category so that also pushed the cut off higher so two reasons one there is a sudden drastic reduction in the fee structure number two the oci issue in 2023 since the ocis are free to select general category so probably the cut off has slightly jumped back to around 5 lakh 60000 or 6 lakhs that could be the reason now in terms of the cut off marks for karnataka state quota okay there are many many categories i cannot read it out you can take a screenshot and then you can look at it slowly uh, all these categories of course karnataka students will understand what it is right category 2a category 3a a uh, general merit right if if you don't have any reservation within karnataka if you come under general merit then you can see that the cut off is extremely high 642 646 is the cut off and in terms of all india rank you need to be in the top 10000 to get a general merit seat of course if you belong to sc category or st category of course the cut off comes down but look at your exact category and then you see this is round one all india rank round one neat score round 2 all india rank and round 2 neat score in round 3 there were no vacancies by round 2 all the seats had been filled up in 2023 so i hope that information is useful so will you be trying kmc mangalore are you interested in kmc mangalore if given a choice will you go for kmc manipal or will you go for kmc mangalore let me know in the comments so that i can understand what are the students preferences in terms of kmc manipal or kmc mangalore thank you My best wishes. Bye bye.